configure secure passwords and SSH. Addressing table, RTA router, PCA, and SW1 switch. RTA router, PCA, and SW1 switch. The network administrator has asked you to prepare RTA and SW1 for deployment. Before they can be connected to the network, security measures must be enabled. Configure basic security on the router. Configure IP addressing on PCA according to the addressing table. Okay, PCA and configure all these PCA, desktop, IP address 172.16.110, subnet mask 255.255.255.0, the file gateway 172.16.11. Console into RTA from, from the terminal on PCA. PCA, terminal. OK. Enter, enable, configure, terminal. Configure hostname RTA. Hostname, hostname RTA. IP addressing on RTA and enable the interface. Gigabit 00 on RTA, Gigabit 00 and configure this IP address and subnet mask. Interface Gigabit 00, IP address 172.16.11, subnet mask. This and uh, not shut down to enable the interface. Encrypt all plain text passwords. Use this command service password encryption. Exit and um, global configuration mode service password dash encryption. Set the minimum password length of 10 characters. Okay, use this command security passwords ming length 10 characters. So the strong secret password of your choice. Okay, choose a password that you will remember. Obviously, enable secret. Okay, secret, secret. Okay, uh, a strong secret password. Minimum length of the password: ten characters. For example. Uh, Capital C, Cisco, M, Pa, 55. Okay, remember your password. In my case, capital C, Cisco, M, Pa, 55. Enter. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 characters. Disable DNS lookup. Use this command, no IP domain lookup. Set the domain name, IP domain name ccna.com, IP domain dash name ccna.com, okay, ccna.com, enter. Create user of your choosing uh, with a strong encrypted password. Username, any user, and secret password, any password. Okay, but a strong password. More than 10 characters. 10 characters. Okay, 10 or more. Username. C. Ramiro. This is my username. Um, secret password. A strong password. Okay, for example, okay, capital C, Cisco, US, uh, 55. Okay. You can choose your own user and your own password, but remember both. In my case, capital C, Cisco, US, uh, 55. Enter. Generate 1,024 RSI keys. Okay, generate the crypto key. Crypto key generate RSI. Enter 1,024. Hmm. 
block anyone for three minutes who fails to log in after four attempts within a two minute period. Okay, use this command. Login, login, block, dash four. Four, okay, block anyone for three minutes is 180 seconds. 180 seconds. 180 seconds. And attempts, attempts. Who fails to log in after four attempts, four attempts, four attempts. Okay, space four. Within a two minute period, two minute is 120 seconds, 120 seconds. Within 120 seconds, very good. Configure all BTY lines for SSH access. Okay, line BTY zero to four, enter. Okay, line BTY zero to four. Okay, for SSH access, transport input SSH. Transport input, input SSH, only SSH. And use the local user profiles for authentication. So for this, use the login local command. And you will use the username created, the username and password created previously. Login local, use the local database and we'll use this username and password. Okay, login local database, enter. Set the exit mode timeout six minutes. Exit timeout six minutes. Exit dash time out six minutes. Enter. Save the configuration to MVRAM. Okay. Do this on privilege exit mode and, and on privilege exit mode. Copy running config startup dash config. Enter, enter, enter. Access the command prompt on the desktop of PCA to establish SSH. Okay. PCA, close the terminal, open command prompt, and SSH, and question mark, SSH, question mark, okay, slash, and question mark, enter. Okay, this is the, the help. SSH, option L is not one, is L, the username and the target IP address. Okay. SSH, option L, L, not one, is L. Username, remember what is your username. In my case, in my case is zero mirror. Okay, remember that. And the target, the target is the IP address of gigabit 00 on RTA. Gigabit 00 on RTA, 172.16.11. 172.16.11, very good. And press enter. And remember your password, your password is capital C, Cisco US PA 55. Enter. Very good. Okay. And enable. Enter. Capital C. Cisco M PA 55. Enter. Very good. Okay. Remember your own terminal. Okay your passwords, um, username, zero mirror, and password, Cisco US, Path 55, capital C. And for enable password, enable secret password, Cisco, and Path 55, capital C. Very good. Uh, and you need to remember for this password, the uh, username password and for another password for enable password 
Very good. Now you are connected to RTA using SSH. Exit. Enter. Very good. Configure basic security on switch. Click on SW1 and select the CLA tab. Okay, this is another way uh, to access the CLA on SW1. Click here and CLA. Very good. Another way to access the command line interface. Configure hostname SW1. Enter. Enable configure terminal hostname SW1. IP addressing on SW1 on VLAN1 and enable the interface. Okay, go to addressing table on VLAN1, configure this IP address interface VLAN1 IP address 172.16.1.2 to netmask 24. Not shut down. Okay, exit and on global configuration mode, the default gateway, IP default gateway 172.16.1.1, enter. And now, okay, IP default gateway, very good. Disable all unused switch ports. On a switch, it is a good security practice to disable unused ports. One method of doing this is simply shut down each port with the shutdown command. This would require accessing each port individually. There is a shortcut method for making modifications to several ports at once by using the interface range command. On SW1, or ports accept Fast Ethernet 01 and Gigabit 01 can be shut down with the following command. Okay. Shut down from Fast Ethernet 2 to 24 and Gigabit 02, shut down. Okay, because Gigabit 01 is in use and Fast Ethernet 1 is in use. So shut down all unused ports and the range is interface range. Fast Ethernet 1 in use from 2 to 24. And gigabit zero one in use, uh, gigabit zero two, shut down. Very good. Encrypt all plain text passwords. Exit on global configuration mode. Service password dash and encryption. Set a strong secret password of your choosing. Enable secret Cisco MPA55. Okay. Disable DNS lookup. No IP domain lookup. Okay, domain M. Okay, very good. Set the domain name to ccna.com. Okay, sensitive. Okay, for scoring in packet tracer, uh, IP domain dash name, ccna.com. Create user of your choosing with a strong script encrypted password. Username, zero mirror is my username and password, secret password, Cisco US555. Enter. Generate 1024-bit RSA keys. Crypto key generate RSA. Enter, 1024. Enter, very good. Configure RBTY lines for SSH access and use the local user profiles for authentication. Okay. Line BTY 0 to 4, enter. Okay, for SSH access, Transport input SSH. Use local user profiles for authentication. Login local to use the local database, this username and password to access SSH. Exec mode timeout to six minutes. Exec dash time 
about six minutes. Save configurations and um, privilege exit mode, copy, running, config, startup, dash config, enter, enter, enter. Okay, but I got 98% only, uh, I want 100%. Uh, Configure all BTY lines. Uh, the available BTY lines, okay, show running config to demonstrate, show running config. Okay, the available BT1 lines are from 0, 4, 0 to 4. Okay, you have five lines and also from 5 to 15. Also, uh, additional, 11, additional 11 lines. Okay, so you need to configure also this, this range of of lines from 5 to 15. Configure terminal line BTY 5 to 15. Okay, um, transport input SSH, login local, exact time out six minutes, exit. Okay, 100%. Also, you can test to access from PCA, access SSH on S1. And the IP address of SW1 is 172.16.12. Go to PCA, repeat the previous command, and SSH option L, not one, is L, username, zero mirror, and the IP address. In this case, is 172.16.12. Enter. And password for zero mirror is Cisco US PA55. Enter. Enable Cisco and PA55. Enter. Very good. Now you are connected to the switch using SSH. And exit. 100%. Thank you very much.